Greetings and salutations from Alamance County, Carolina de Norte. All right, so what we're doing today is I have Scud and Teeter with me, and we're going to debate, first of all, which vocalist in rock history had the greatest assemblage of guitarists of all time? Okay, you cool with that? Great. What do you think? I like it. All right. So uh, I'm going to give you five. We're going we're gonna to debate and argue, whatever you want to call it, uh, five different people. And we'll go through all the people that played with him, and we'll see if we agree or we disagree. Fasten your lap belts. Tighten your chin strap. And we're going to see how this goes, okay? All right, so the number one one is Ozzy Osbourne. Okay, I think we're all familiar with his work. With awesome. Birdman. Okay. You better head off a bat. He did, that's what they say. Yeah. Randy Rhodes, the immortal Randy Rhodes. Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath. Brad Gillis from who? Who do you play for? Ozzy. Yeah, he did, but who else? <laughs> Ozzy. But he played for, what uh, What was it? Sister Christian, it was Night Ranger, right? Okay. That's where he came okay. from, I think. Yes, yeah. you're right, yeah, yeah. he filled in he for was, Randy. Yeah, he, he wasn't yeah. really a full-time yeah. member, he just kind of right. filled in. He was in. just motoring. Right, Jakey e. Lee, uh, yeah, he was just motoring <laughs> yeah, along, just filling some time. Jakey e. Lee, phenomenal guitarist, right? And writer. Uh, did the Bark of the Moon years and all that, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Zach Wilde, come on, man, come on. Yeah. All right, uh, Steve Vai, arguably one of the greatest guitarists that's ever walked this earth. Uh, Joe Holmes, and I'm not trying to sway you either way. I'm just, it's just a fact, right? Joe us. Holmes, you may or may not heard of. He was a touring guy when Joe, when Zach kind of left, right? We, we saw him. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. We did. That's right. With uh, Gus G. They did. Again, little, little known guy, but can really shred slash. We've heard of him. Yeah. And lastly, Jerry Cantrell. All right. So if you need to study that, that is Ozzy. That's, that's the next one is David Coverdale. And I know you probably can't read this, but I wrote it for our own benefit. All right. John Sykes. So underrated, right? Great. Wrote most of that stuff with White Snake and even Finn Lizzie. Jimmy Page, we've heard of him. Adrian Vandenberg, Steve Vai again, Phil Collins from Def Leppard, Richie Blackmore during his Deep Purple days, Red Beach from where? Red Beach. I, 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 Kip Winger. Okay. East yes, Winger. Yes. Where? Good dude. Vivian Campbell from from uh, White Snake and where? Def Leppard. Def Leppard. Def Leppard. Good one. Good one. Uh, Warren D. Martini from where? Rat. Got to talk up. Rat. Doug Aldridge. And Reeves Gabriels, who played with David Bowie for a long time, um, as well. That's right? a pretty good pedigree. That is, that is, that is good. All right, this one is short and sweet, but there's some monsters on here. David Lee Roth, okay, who just retired, I believe, from all of his music. Them. Eddie Van Halen, Steve Vai, John Five. God, Amazing. could John Five be any better? Amazing guitar player. He's like the metal version of uh, Eric Johnson. That's what I look at him as. Yeah, right? that's pretty fair. Uh, and uh, Joe Holmes again. And Jason Becker, who's like been laid up with, uh, was it multiple sclerosis? Or is, he has MS. Is not, it MS? It's not ALS. No, it's, yeah, it's I think MS. it's Lou yeah. Gehrig type. Is it ALS? Yeah, I think it's, it's ALS, ALS, right? But he's all like, has he, to use he a tube to talk. He would already be dead if he had ALS. You don't live long with that. He's, he's had like, that stuff since that's like ALS. the early 90s. ALS, he'd be dead. All right, there you go. You don't make it very long with that. The next one is the immortal Axl Rose. Immortal. He was going to die one day. He will, but he'll live on. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. Slash, Buckethead. Uh, Bumblefoot, John, uh, what was it, Rob Fall, Rob, what's his name, Rob Fall? Yep. Uh, Izzy Stradlin, very underrated guitar. Super underrated. Robin Fink, who I think was also with Nine Inch Nails, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Gilby Clark, uh, the poor man's Izzy Stradlin. Uh, Tracy Guns, phenomenal player. And DJ Ashba, who's really, really good. He plays with 6AM, uh, good guitars. There's that. And then lastly... Dave Mustaine. Now, you're going to see a lot more shredding on here, but still, some great players. James Hetfield, because that's how he started, right? Started. Played with Metallica. Uh, Kiko, I can't pronounce his last name because it's like Brazilian or something. Uh, Marty Friedman. Mm. Master. Masterful. Chris Poland, Jeff Young, Chuck Bueller, Beeler, however you say it. Al Petrelli, another great shredder. Glenn Drover, probably the least known person on this entire ensemble. And uh, what do we got? Chris Broderick, great player. And the douchebag Kerry King. Okay. Did, did Mustang not ever play with Inve? Mustang. Okay. First of all, okay, it's Mustang. not it's not a Ford car from the city. I saw, who invited him? What did is going on right now? Did he not ever play what? with Inve? Inve Malmsteen. Yes. If he did, I've never heard it. Have you? No kidding. Inve doesn't need another guitarist to play with him. He wouldn't. His ego would not allow and, that to share the stage. I don't I don't mean, either one come on, man. I don't think either one of their egos would. Allow oh, that. this sweet tea is good. Mm. <laughs> so what we have here is. A couple difficult choices. So some you can, yeah. Some you can, you can, and that's in that's in honor of James Hetfield. That's what he does. Yeah. Yes. So 
A couple things you can eliminate pretty quick, but if you want to lay them out, right? All right, so that we can kind of. All right, so you got David Lee Roth, Dave Mustaine, Osborne, and Coverdale, Axel Rose. All right, so what do you think, Teeter? I mean, there's, to me, it comes down to two of these people. Okay, please tell me. It's, I think we're going to agree. All right, it's, it comes down to two. Okay. It comes down to me, it comes down to Dave Mustaine and Ozzy Osbourne. Ooh. And I go Ozzy all the way. That's tough, man. I go Ozzy okay, all the way. Okay, so but I'm thinking it's Ozzy and Coverdale. Dude, he's got he's got Vi, Jimmy Page, yeah. he's got Richie Blackmore, Warren D. Martin, Vivian Camp. Dude, I don't disagree. That, I mean, is, I think it's that is tough. But and it's it between comes, those two, but I'm I'm saying Coverdale. No, nah, it's Ozzy. It's Ozzy. So I, Ozzy's your number one guy. There's no and, there's and, and what is Ozzy Coverdale play, three? Is Coverdale three? Out of this? No. I don't respect. This is insane. See, this, is, this this video is going to go into something else because it's oh, going to it's going like to be counter it. to it. It's, it's going to feel like I'm kind of talking backwards when I say this, but I don't respect Jimmy Page. So you know that he I, wrote I, Ten Years Gone." I just don't I, respect him. I, it, so, he's always said this. This it's blasphemy to me, man. To I, me, I don't to respect me, half of these people. Me, <laughs> John Paul Jones was Led Zeppelin, but that's the, that's a whole other argument mm, for another. I gotta day. say, Bonham. That's a whole other. That's a whole Robert other Plant but was was you Led Zeppelin. Nah, you put a different David, drummer I with. Put, I would put David out of this group. David Lee Roth would be my third, just because mm. he's got Eddie and Steve Vai. Even if Jason Becker only did like. Perpetual Burn and all that. What was it? Perpet no, maybe that was Freeman. But he only did that that like Racer X stuff with with Paul Gilbert. Yeah. Like he didn't do that many. He's only got like no, three albums. I in think his. It, in my in my opinion, they're phenomenal. Ozzy Day, David. Uh, okay, okay, David okay. All, all right. Let's, but Ozzy, Ozzy's number one. Hands okay. Down. So what do you and got? Here's my rebuttal to that. So we've with to with, him or me or him. Well, to, to Teeter with with David Lee, we've got Eddie and we've got Steve Vai. Okay. And John Five. Ozzy has Randy. Steve Vai, Slash, and Zach Wilde. Yeah, but he only played for Slash for a it little while. He's matter. on the list. I know, I know, but, doesn't matter. but you don't have to go on tour with Jerry the guy for trail. six years. I mean, this is yeah, this but like James Hetfield only played with Mustaine for one album and like a couple other songs. You know what I mean? Like and not even the whole album. But they just kind of the, the people we don't that you, a lot of the viewers don't know on this list. It's like you, you, what you can fit in the grand. Well, I, I think I think this yeah, right here is, is yeah. if you were to put together like a shredding list, this I mean, dominates. They, that that dominates anyway, everybody. Else. I'm not arguing the second point. Yeah, Oz, yeah. Ozzy wins. All right, he, so he had the your, Godfather. David Roth belt. is your winner. No, it's Ozzy. It's still Ozzy. Yes. Golly. You're going. You've got Eddie. You, you, you've got EDH and you've got Steve Vai here. You've got Rhodes. You've got. What Zach are you talking Wilder. about Roth for? I'm picking David Coverdale. I know, but you said Roth. Just now. That's why I was like, no. Dude, no, 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 no. My, my pick is Coverdale. Like, that would be my... that. Coverdale's got some great guitar he players. Is a, I, he I is, would pick Axel as my third. He would be... That would be... That would be tough to Coverdale pick. Coverdale is a very close second, but with Ozzy's list, I, and, and it's just my... We're, we're all opinionated here. The thing... Ozzy's my choice. I mean, if you draw the, the common thread on almost every one of these, is Steve Vai. Steve Vai. And Vai's on... I mean... And, and and then with Ozzy you get you get the so that's God, an inter that's interesting point yeah. that's an interesting point and you get the, all three of us said, yeah 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 and that's you get cool. the Godfather of metal you get Tony Iommi with Ozzy he yeah, started metal he uh, he started metal right 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 but but I'm saying and then you get Randy who if he didn't but but Tony die, Iommi is just a riff dude like he's I mean you know what I'm saying like all these dudes for the great. most part are with the exception of like maybe Cantrell. And we're not even they're, they're all they're all like, they're all rhythm right. players. I mean, they're lead so players. The progression of Ozzy. Think about that. You start with Tony, and then you end up with Randy, and then you end up when Randy dies with Brad Gillis. Then you end up with Jake, yeah. with Jake e. Lee, who wrote Bark at the Moon, mm -hmm. who wrote Ultimate Sin, who got who gets no credit for that. And then you finished up basically with Zach Wild. It's because he's kind of a douche. I understand. Well, that. but but Zach, he is a great then, player. And then you have Zach, who Zach's just phenomenal. Yeah, he is. Can't Ozzy say wins. Ozzy wins. Agree to disagree. Coverdale is second to me. I think you're discounting. Right. Have you ever heard like Blue Murder and some of the stuff yeah. that John Sykes has done? Yeah. The Valley of the Kings but, is a I'm phenomenal gonna tell you song. What, that dude should have been so much more popular than he was. Okay? Uh, I just, I, there's just so many monster players on. And he's got Steve Vai. Red Beach, Warren Martini, Vivian Campbell, 
I mean, all those dudes, Doug Hard, they they can just they can shred all this stuff, you know. It's so yeah. respectable that you said that because I used to listen to Blue Murder when I was a kid. No, they're and great. A lot of people. They should have done more, more than one album. Valley of the Kings was a phenomenal song, and he's you got can, a great voice too. You got a minute and a half sing. lead in with guitar solo to start it. My wife would have already lost her. Yeah, so please right, turn I, this. You know what I mean? No, I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> could Man, we? This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, 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 right. No. Okay. I gotta go, Ozzy. All right, Ozzy. The, the David the David cover doesn't impress me that much. I mean, other than that doesn't impress. That's doesn't eleven. Like Jimmy Page. Okay, let's other take than, Jimmy Page off than, of it. Then you got Steve Vai. That doesn't impress you. Phil Collins, Steve underrated Vi. player. Hey, that no, no, no. Play. We'll get to that later. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. But Steve Vai is a fantastic. Guitar What's player. that? Uh, <laughs> let's get rocked. You know that sh that solo that he just like yes. completely shreds out. And he, and he always has a shirt on. And yeah, he well, did. I mean, he's like seventy years old and he looks pretty good. His nipples yeah. can cut a seatbelt. They can. They can cut ice. They could. Uh, and glass at the same time. And a good gust of wind would blow God, the completely Lee. across the county. Lodge. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All right. Good deal. Good deal. So we agree to disagree. All right. Two votes I'm, for Ozzy, I'm, one vote for Coverdale. I win. All right. Is that how this works? Giddy up. Wait a minute. We both win.